Hi guys, in this video we will understand how do we put logs in .NET applications using log for net. Now as many of you know that logs is a very important aspect in .NET development or in any other kind of development. Many developers find it very useful to put the logs, whatever they are doing to record those steps and put them uh, simply in a text file. Now we have many ways to put logs in various applications but the most popular way is using log for net. So let's quickly jump onto Visual Studio and see how do we achieve this. So let's go to Visual Studio and here I have a simple uh, program class and I have created this project from scratch. So here in Solution Explorer we can see that I have a project. I have a simple program class and this is basically an empty project. So first step what we need to do for using log for net is I just need to right click onto the project and say manage NuGet packages. Once we uh, get NuGet packages we need to go onto the browse. So once we go onto the browse we will have many NuGet packages with us. So what we need to search is we just need to search for log for net. Now once we get this log for net option what you need to do is you need to install this log for net library. Now I have clicked on, on the install button and it has installed the log for net library for me. Now what we what is the next step is we need to configure this log for net. Uh, we need to configure this log for net library into our application. And where we do that we do that in app.config file. Now before we move to uh, this app.config file we just need to go to the properties. Uh, we need to expand this properties section and we just need to go for assembly info.cs class. What is this class is basically this class is responsible for uh, all the information which is present in our exe or dll file which will be created once you compile this application. So what we need to do is we need to just tell this class that okay we are using log for net at your start. So now what we need to do is we just need to copy this line of code and it says that okay uh, I am uh, setting this xml configurator as true. So this way assembly info class will be able to know that uh, this application is using log for net okay now we need to go to the app config file and just need to add the necessary configuration for the log for net now i have, i have already copied that configuration and where we need to paste that configuration is between this configuration tag and between this startup tag okay so before the startup tag and between the configuration tag so i will just uh, go here and paste the configuration related to log for net now I have pasted this log for net configuration in here. What is this is basically it's adding a section which is, uh, which has the name as log for net and it is uh, specifying the what type of file and what type of what should be the location of my file uh, log file uh, what what should be the encoding of the file if append to file is true if uh, I set append to file as false it will not append to the file always it will just create a new file for me. Okay, or you can uh, it will override the previous file. So this is the necessary configuration and it's very simple. You can easily find this configuration in Google. So we are done with all the configurations that's being needed for uh, using log for net in our application. Let's go to our program class and write some code to use this log for net library. So here what we will do is uh, just after this class starts, we will just add this line of code. And what I'm doing here in this code is Basically, I am using this log for net class. So I'll just import the namespace which is related to log, log for net and it says using log for net. Okay. So what I'm doing here, this is the interface of uh, log for net library and I've just created a reference of this interface. Okay. And what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, calling this log, uh, get logger static method from log manager class. Okay. These all classes and interfaces are predefined in the library itself. Okay. And then what we do is we just try to get the name of the method which has to be used uh, which has to be logged in the log for net file okay and how do we, uh, we are doing that is we are using the reflection concept for getting the name of that method now this piece of code is again common for all the log for net usages that means whenever you are using log for net you just need to get this line at the start of your class okay now since we have written this we have configured this uh, this many things we can use directly this log for net variable okay so how do i use this is uh, i will just just type log dot and it will give me a couple of uh, uh, a lot of methods here it will give me debug debug format equals error error output fatal and many more right so i will just write some information here 
and how does i write it uh, very simple i just give it a string okay so i will just say this is a info right similarly i can uh, write the error method also i can write a warning also okay so let's try to do something so basically i will uh, have a try catch block okay so just i can write my error method also and the exception method also right and i will have a simple method inside it i will say it do work and i have not created this do work method yet so i will just generate this do work method and what i will do here is i will quickly say control console dot right line and i will say this is to work method okay so this is a simple example of log for net okay and here what i will do is i will just copy this line i will cut this line basically and i will write it here so this is info or i can give it a meaningful message i will say this is start of do work okay and i will copy it again i will just write it here below i'll say this is end of do work right and here what i can do is basically instead of throwing the exception what i can do is i can say this as log dot error and i can give it a meaningful message i can say that your app has encountered an exception okay so this is my simple program here okay sorry i can use this thing also so what i can do is here i will just say another line here so i will just say error and instead of this i will just say ax dot message right let's see if this works or not now before running this application let's go back to app config file and let's see okay this is the name of my log file so it will say my log application okay now if you notice that uh, this two folders temp and logs will be created automatically with the help of log for net so if i go to c drive there is no there is no logs folder so there is a logs folder but that's for a uh, different uh, application so let me delete this also okay so i don't have any logs folder here and i don't have any temp folders here okay so let me go back and let's try to run this application now okay so let me run this and the application has started it has stopped obviously because i have not given anything like read line or something let's go back to my windows and here i can see a temp folder being created and if you see there there is a logs folder and it says my log application okay and the size of that is 1 kb let's see what's inside this okay and you can see that this is the start of two work this is the end of two work just uh, two messages and what i am getting here is i am getting the main method that these this uh, both the logs are present inside the main method i don't get anything about the do work right do work method and also i didn't log the error because uh, the exception has not occurred in our application till now so i just have the information okay let's go back and generate a error also so what i will do is basically i will put this thing or let me just go here i will say throw new and i will just say exception and i will just put a message this is a man made exception okay so what i am done here is uh, i am throwing this uh, exception explicitly so what will it will do it will first do this thing and then it will throw this exception and the control will come here it will catch this exception and it will execute this thing let's try to see this in action so let's try to run that again and the application is stopped let's go back let me refresh this thing and you can see here now two error lines are being appended okay so this is the use of log for net now if our exception would have been occurred in do work work uh, do work method then this main will be replaced by to work method but this is a very simple usage of log uh, log applications uh, logging uh, your 
actions in a file using log for net and it's basically very useful it's basically useful for those people who does does not have the source code and who are not able to debug basically for testers uh, support guys and everything so these guys cannot debug the application so these people see the logs which is present in the application report that to developer okay so that's it guys uh, let's go back to my visual studio and this is the code what we have and this is the iapp config configuration you can easily find this configuration in google also you can take a screenshot and write it on your own also remember that we need to add this line of code in the assembly info.cs class so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have any doubt please leave me a comment i will be trying my best to answer that thank you so much guys and stay safe